All right, try not to snicker too much. Okay, today's video is all about the importance of enemas. And if you don't know how important they are, you must click on this video and watch it here. I was first introduced by <laughs> to enemas by Marcus. You know, I would have, I was very hesitant at first. I'm like, you have got to be kidding. There's absolutely no way I'm going to do that. But I'm going to tell you the first time I did it, I was hooked and I do it for cleaning my system out, maybe once a month, or if I feel constipated, which I rarely do, but if you eat something bad that's really good, it makes you feel so much better, makes you feel lighter. Now, it doesn't go all the way up your 50 feet of your um, intestinal tract, but it does go up the first eight feet or so, up to eight feet, and it really does clear you out and ready you to prevent you from being constipated. And, so it was really cool. We were really excited when we came across this enema. It's called Kara. The brand is Kara Incorporated. They even spell it the way I spell my name. They don't sell them in drug stores. It's so hard to find one. That's why when I saw this from a distance, I had to grab it and I was traveling when I found this. So look, inside the bag, it's I really like it also. It's natural rubber, to add natural rubber to it. So it's got great, uh, enema bag. This is really cool if you hurt your back or something. I've used this as a water bottle many times. I put hot water inside and then you close it up tight and I put it under my um, wherever it is hurting and it feels so much better. So that's a great use as a water bottle and you don't want to lose this. Put this in a plate. I, I put mine in my medicine cabinet so I can find it because when I go for it and I want to use it as a water bottle and I, I need that lid in order to do it. So here is the tubing. And then this one just plugs into this opening. It also comes with the hook. This is so important because without it, you can't hang it high above your body. So it goes on the bottom here, just like that. And then you fill all the way to the top. As long as it's filtered or healthy, clean water, you're good to go. You wanna make sure to warm it to body temperature, do a little test. You know, on your wrist is a good indicator of exactly what temperature it's going to be inside your body. After you fill it up all the way with your good water, put the lid on, twist it tight, and then just let the water out until it runs out. And when it starts running out, then you clamp it. Now you wanna get into position. Forget this clamp thing. If it gets too uncomfortable and you wanna stop the flow of water, just pinch the hose. You wanna lube the tip up, not too much. You don't want it popping out, just a little bit, I guess. Use either olive oil, coconut oil, or vitamin E oil, or Bee Magic. And then you want to take it into the bathroom and look for a towel hook or a cabinet knob that is shoulder height to hang it onto. It will not work if it's lower than your body. You want it shoulder height of your body in order for gravity to make the water run down the tube easily and into your body. Once you've hung it on your bar, pinched the hose, and lubed it, you are now ready to assume enema position. Now there's a couple positions you can do. Some people like laying on their side. I like putting my bottom up in the air and getting my front part lower because I feel like gravity is even more rushing that water into me and cleaning myself out as best as possible. So I'm gonna show you a position I get into. No snickering. <laughs> All right, so. Here I am assuming the position with my end of my tube clamped tightly. Okay, no giggling. Be serious. This is serious. You gently insert that inside and then unclamp it, right? And you wanna take as much water as you possibly can. Um, some people can take the whole bag the first time. Others can only take a small amount before you feel like you want to burst. In that instance, clamp it. Don't remove it, just clamp it. Let it pass. If it doesn't, you can run to the bathroom, but give it time. It should pass. And then you can re-release it and let the water flow begin again. If you want to stop the water flow, just pinch it tight. 
Okay, you can kind of control this really well. And what I like to do when I take the, as much as I can hold comfortably, is I gently pull it out. <laughs> so now you're full of water. And what I like to do, if you can do it, it's like extra credit. I hold my hold it in and start shaking, jumping up and down because I feel like it's cleaning out my innards even more, just washing all the sides. And then I go and excavate. So I sit on the toilet and I just, you know, do let my body take over and do whatever comes naturally. You're also going to flush a lot of good stuff out when you do enemas, so you wanna make sure to replenish yourself with really good probiotics afterward. If you're a raw fooder, you don't have to worry about that. You're already getting enough of it. But if you are doing cooked food, very important. Get yourself a great probiotic. And you should be doing probiotics every day anyways. So we were just really excited about um, offering these to you guys. Number one, because it's so difficult to find enema bags. They don't sell them in drugstores anymore. Number two, because natural rubber and it says Kara, it's just special to us. And three, because enema bags are extremely important to do. Don't be hesitant like I was to do one. I wish I would have started these a long time ago, but I, I'm glad I got my nerve up and don't be afraid like I was. At least try it once. It's amazing. I wish I would have given my son enemas when he was a baby, when he was sick, instead of giving him amoxicillin. But, you know, live and learn. And now I'm here. And if you have a young child, I would so recommend doing that for him when, he, when they're ill. You'd be surprised how this just cleans you out. That's what the body needs when it's ill and sick. It's begging to be cleaned out. And this is your best ally in doing that. So... Thank you um, for joining me again today, and I hope this clears up any misconception about enemas. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.